We've got flags and banners And if you mind your manners We might even get to standards And what they represent So just take my boy's hand And we'll both try to understand How this vexillar logic podcast Could be flagged for content Flagged for content What's up, Vexheads, and welcome to episode 24 of Flagged for Content. It's the only podcast that I forgot to write a joke for for this part for this week. Anyway, nobody will miss it. Um, it is also a Flags for Good show, so go check out flagsforgood.com and uh, anywhere that you can find Flags for Good stuff. They are awesome. And you can email us at podcast at flagsforgood.com if you want to get in touch that way. Let's see our Instagram winner. I'm going to go ahead and throw up the one from today as I record this. And as you listen to it, uh, it, it will be your today. So the winner of the, let's see, it was Bolivia was the flag. And that was this is, I think, Brazilian Portuguese, so allow for, you know, some pronunciation, uh, some leeway there. But it is Joao P. Senarais. Anyway, I will spell that here on the screen for the viewers. But he is at J-O-A-O-P-S-E-N-A-R-E-I-S. Joao P. Senarais. Anyway. Um, we also have a Patreon. We've got, I think, only like a couple subscribers right now. Right now, what you get through that is ad-free episodes. So if you're tired of sitting through ads, you're probably more tired of these long intros. But uh, yeah, if you're tired of ads, go check out our Patreon. It is patreon.com slash flagged for content. And wanted to mention, rate and review us. If you listen on a platform that allows for that, like Apple, Spotify, a few others, Go ahead and give us a rating and a review that helps the show immensely. Like, I, it can't be overstated. I wish it weren't the case, but it is. So do that if you can. Anyway, we had Mike Carroza as the guest this week. He is a comedian based out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and just a hilarious dude. Knows his flags. We got some firsthand knowledge from him of like, what the scene on the ground is in, in Canada writ large and more specifically in Quebec. He's got some very interesting stories to tell about flags there. And uh, I had a ton of fun with him. I had the Quebec flag up in the background. It's down now. I have, I think the viewers can see a little Justin Bieber action figure <laughs> sitting here. So making him feel right at home in Canada. And yeah, you're, you're, you're in for a good one, listener. So, yeah, I'm going to try not to make this run long. Uh, yeah, so next week we have James Shore. You may know him if you know his Instagram. It is FIMO Flags of the World, F-I-M-O Flags of the World. Go check him out. That is the guest next week. And, yes, I did say next week. We will have three weeks in a row with episodes. So I'm kind of getting into the groove of doing this every week. Can't guarantee it will always be that way. In fact, coming up, it probably won't be. But next week is James Shore. He makes these awesome little flags out of Fimo polymer uh, molding clay. So get ready to check that one out too. Anyway, I am tired. This intro has gone long as they always do. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the show with Mike Carroza. Ladies, gentlemen, everyone else, you know him as a stand-up comedian from Montreal. You know him as a guest on a bunch of podcasts you love, like Never Seen It, Doug Loves Movies, and Will You Accept This Rose. And you know him as a performer at the Just for Laughs Festival and San Francisco Sketch Fest. It's Mike Carrozo! What's up? <laughs> oh, I man. Really I'm into that. I like I like thinking that it's it's back. It is. A lot more people are doing it. And uh, I get that it's not something I made, but somehow I feel a sense of pride. You know, it doesn't matter as long as you can make it make it your own or make it as long as you can make people laugh with it. I'm enjoying was, it. Still makes me laugh. It's very silly. And you know what? 
I dig it. I love that it's having a renaissance. I love that I could be like, what's that? People are like, eh, that stupid commercial. Wasn't Why that originally, it? wasn't it a Super Bowl commercial originally? I I want to say yes, but we don't get the Super Bowl commercials here. So like, right. Yeah. So we get the like, we have to watch them in a compilation or like six months down the line. They use that campaign still. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. That's that depending on if the ad is flexible. Right. Yeah, I was thinking that was like from when Super Bowl commercials were actually good, but I, you know what? I wouldn't even know. I the thing about the Super Bowl commercials is we get <laughs> some of them like way late, or we'd have yeah. to find a compilation, and then we watch them and be like, Haha, "All right, cool." Right? And They're gonna now, start. <laughs> I don't know. I just haven't seen any of them in so long. Yeah, they're going to start, like, deep faking, like, if it's an American celebrity that's in the commercial, they'll put a Canadian one in it. Like, they'll sub in Celine Dion for whoever. <laughs> hey, man, get her some get her some more work. You know what right? I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. She is not doing well health-wise, and I wish her the most. I, uh, I, Celine Dion is a treasure. She is wonderful. She's incredibly talented. What she's going through sounds like hell. Um. So like yeah, let's get let's get her that bag. <laughs> Make sure she's comfy, <laughs> which I think she is. But fucking give, whatever, give her more. She'll find someone who needs it too. Good, yeah. I I am gonna have to Google that afterwards because I didn't know oh, a lot dude, was going on with that. <laughs> oh, she and she did this video talking about this condition she has, and oh man, it's like her. It, the way she described it is like her body's turning to stone. And oh, so parts of her body just stop working, and that includes everything so like your lungs your oh. diaphragm you can't sing she'll just like not be able to walk properly Jesus. yeah it's yeah brutal. well on that note um let's move on to stand-up comedy <laughs> <laughs> no so um so the most recent thing you did uh was probably san francisco sketch fest right that's right yeah yeah how was that, that? i've never ago. made it out that way it was sick. It was so good. Uh, I had a great time. It was just like a weird experience, like leading up to it, because it was supposed to be last year, mm -hmm. and then it got moved. It got postponed a whole year because of COVID surges. And um, while it was happening, like at first, you know, uh, I got I found out because my friend was one of the headliners. He was like, "Hey, I asked for you to be one of my openers at Sketchfest," and I was like. I don't know. I don't, did I get that? Because I don't even know. He's like, oh, shit. Don't tell anybody I told you. <laughs> and, I <was> like, okay. <laughs> and then I got an email like that afternoon being like, hey, so <laughs> Shane asked for you. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right, okay. right. Yeah. Uh, uh, your friend asked for you to open for him. And then uh, and you've got this other set. And then the messages kept coming in. Because I ended up being asked to do uh, the Benson movie interruption for Lost Boys. Doug Benson right, asked right, me okay. on that. And then he also recommended me to Arden Marine for uh, Will You Accept This Rose live. Because nice. I have a master podcast called We Didn't Get a Rose. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, yeah, it was like it was surreal because like here I am. I'm just like living in my parents' basement again after living in Toronto for years and leaving because of COVID and wondering what's going on. And on a whim, I sent a tape and. I'm hoping, like, oh, we'll see. Maybe something will come with it. And then, literally, the guy I started stand up because of. I started stand up because of Doug Benson mm -hmm. and, and and his, you know, first album. And listening to that for like two weeks before I started doing stand up and being like, this guy's just having a blast. Yeah, I always like this guy. It sounds like fun. I want to see if I can do it. And now and he wants you on his stuff, <laughs> dude. He wants he we like we hung out like he wants me on his show. I've done Douglas movies a hand, like a couple times, and he's he's asked for me on his show, recommended me to other shows. It just fucking rules, man. It's like it, San Francisco was a, a a bit of a living the dream, but also pretty sobering because like you know you're traveling, it can get pretty lonely you're in a city you don't know. I wasn't staying at the hotel everybody was staying at, so I just like was. A uh, while yeah. away. I know how that um, goes at, at any kind of con or yeah. or thing like that. Yeah. It's always so a you got like the, 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 the con blues, you know what I mean? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I saw a shit ton of shows. I, I hung out with a lot of friends. Like, you know, it's always like a blast to bump into Sam Talent and Amy Miller on the road. And you're like, man, yeah, man. these <laughs> folk heroes just out here, you know? Right. But, yeah, for sure. I don't know. It, sure. It's just. 
it's nuts to be on a podcast with like people that I've admired and looked up to. Like I grew up. That's with a very huge crush sweet. On That's Padgett so sweet. Brewster. Oh, and we ended up on the same podcast about The Bachelor. And after the show, I was supposed to hang out with a buddy of mine, but he got too baked and forgot. So, he was, <laughs> so I was just like at the hotel hanging out and he like didn't have his phone. I was like, I don't know. I'm just going to go get some food. And Padgett was like, oh, I'm on my way to get some food. Do you want to like eat together? And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, dude, I would love to have dinner <laughs> yes. with Padgett Brewster. You know what I mean? Like Bird Girl from Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. Right. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like. Kermel Mines, Emily Prentice, Frankie from Community, just like a very talented actress who's so funny, so charming. Yeah, she's awesome. It was dope. Like the the whole festival, I got to do, I got to do a show with Oscar from The Office. Like, it, it's just a weird experience to be around all these people, and it was very validating because I got, dude, I got laughs. <laughs> like I did good. Hell man. yeah, I did. <laughs> I did that's, good. From what I understand, that's what you're going for. So that's good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like it's all and coming up, that. Mike, then. And oh, hopefully. And on top of all that, and the, the crowning achievement is after all those things, all the pieces fit together, you get to come uh-huh. on a flag podcast and talk about flags. Buddy, I'm about it. I'm into it. <laughs> I I thought it was so fun when you told me about this. I was like, why why what <laughs> the do you so why do you how to f- yeah. Why flags? <laughs> you know, and like it, it's right. just so fun that like that's your because th- I can't think of anything that's like my in terms of like a niche thing. Uh, I can't even point to Magic the <laughs> Gathering anymore because it's so popular. Right. And even back then, it was like popular in the sense that it had like you know conventions. It had a tournament scene. There were commercials on TV for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, like I have I have questions like do the flag guys have drama <laughs> with the stamp people or, like, or do you both collectively hate the coin guys like which we hate the guys coin guys that? yeah we team up against the coin guys <laughs> i okay, actually good, had good, good. a did a flag swap with this guy in the uk and he sent me some stamps along with flags so i think that was like a oh. sign that we're on the like, same yeah, side with them yeah, exactly <laughs> But the coin, the numismatologist or whatever, fuck off with that word. Fuck off with all that. (laughs) Numismatologist. What's the flag word? So flags are vexillology. (laughs) Okay. It's, uh, you never think, you know, I thought for a long time it was flagellist and that's just not the right word for any of it. It's just Um, not. It's the right word for some people. I don't want to yuck anybody's yum, but. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, what's happening? Not what I invited you to do here today. So. No, sir. No, sir. (laughs) But no, yeah, I mean, just like to briefly touch on that, like, yeah, it is very niche. Like when I was kind of formulating the idea for it, and I was trying to, I wanted to do a podcast I knew. And like you said, trying to come up with, all right, like what's like, not, not yeah. just me. Cause I want to have like a community that'll listen to it. Right. But what's exactly. like my thing. And then I, I kind of, my dad actually kind of put the, planted the idea, the seed in my head. And, uh, and then I went on and looked up like Spotify, other places. And I was like, there's like two flag podcasts out there. I could be. And I'm now the longest running one that there we go. English language. Anyway, there's an Italian one that's longer, but. Oh yeah. Those guys. What what can I say? They're probably new. Get me to translate for you. Yeah. Oh no. (laughs) Have them on as like a a breaking bread kind of thing. That would be cool. I'd love to have any of the other, you know, four flag podcasters. You guys should get deep on some stuff and and say something like, yeah, well, (laughs) What what are we? What are we? The the German flag circa uh, twenty seventeen? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Remember yeah. when they released that limited edition with that red speck on the? <laughs> <laughs> what dipshits? Who thought that was a good idea? That is the kind uh, of thing that we talk about. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, flags get updated often enough for of, that to be like. <laughs> uh, you'd be surprised, yeah. I mean, the That's last so week. Sick. Like as as of when this one's coming out, last week's episode uh, was for the new flag of Utah. Utah um, got a new flag. Yeah, they they got a new flag finally after. I'm looking it up. Hundreds of years. Well, while you look that up, I am going yeah. to oh, give our listeners. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no surprise. It's always going to be a beehive. I think that was one oh. of the requirements almost. My um, God. But we are going to get to know Mike's flag knowledge a little bit better in a second. Um, first, oh, yeah. here is what is on the flagpole today. A couple over <laughs> slash underrated flags. We are going to get into some Canadian flags that are near to Mike's heart. 
uh, have him answer some tough questions about a certain Canadian flag I have in mind. And then we're going to finish <laughs> okay. things off with a quiz. But before we get to all that, Mike, I like to ask my guests starting now. Yes. This is the first episode where I like to ask my guests this. But okay, yes. What is your favorite flag? Okay, so here's the thing. I'm bad at picking just one thing. Sure. Um, so I have it down to three flags um, as my favorite flags. Okay. Now, the, the first one, the Japanese flag. Now, I don't say this because my girlfriend's Japanese. I say this because I'm a fan of the single dot and kind of just being like, hell yeah, dude, you know what it is. Like, it's just so the presence of a flag like that. It's just so simple. Yeah. It's so clear. It's unmistakable so too. Like you, it doesn't get yeah. confused for anything else. Yeah. It, it's also so clean. Like if you know, you could tell when a flag is taken care of when it's still that stark white. You know what I mean? Like, um, yeah. It just yeah. it's just dope. It's so it's so bright. You pull it up. You're like, it's sick. It's just so eye catching. I really like it. The other flag is also I be, I don't know if it's. Like, is it a Japanese flag? It's like the, 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 okay, I'm looking it up. It's the, the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force flag. Uh, okay, yeah, I know the one. <laughs> the one with all the lines going the, to like, the like rays, the sun rays. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the sun rays to the, but the one, not the one that's in the center, the one just like slightly off yes. center. Yes. Yeah, I prefer yeah, that I one Yeah, I prefer too. that one. Yeah. And then, of course, I got to say. South Korea's flag goes hard, dude. I just, I really love that flag. I, I think cool flag. I'm like, that one's dope. Right. I just, yeah. I'm yeah. sensing a theme with you. You like flags with like a circular element in the middle, mm -hmm. other stuff optional, but. I like white too. Yeah. Not unappreciated. Yeah. yeah. That too. That too. Like, like, I don't know. Something about like, it's just a blank canvas. You know what I mean? I just, I dig that. Right on. Yeah. All right. So what is a what's a flag that you think should we start with over or underrated? Ooh, let's go uh oh boy. Your pick. I know one of them's <laughs> maybe we maybe the less said the better on one of them, but Yeah, okay. Well, let's go overrated first then so we okay. can get out of it quick. Um, All right. So what's that one? Overrated is the friggin' Confederate flag. Look, dude, I get it. Yes, it looks cool, but that's that's because it looks cool because it's normally on the back of a truck and waving in the air, and sometimes it's <laughs> torn up, and you're like, "Yeah, dude, that thi that that thing's seen some hard times." And uh, wow, wow, um, you know what I mean? <laughs> that but is, I, I yeah. just, It's like even in like Bioshock or whatever, didn't they use uh, a, a flag like that? Uh, I am embarrassed to say I haven't played Bioshock. Okay, but I'm talking think that they do a thing. That where seems right. I, there is a game I know of that does, yeah. Yeah. Um. So, God. <laughs> so, it, it, it's just... Look, man, I just think it's like, it's it's done. You know what I mean? Quit... Oh, holding, yeah. Like, it's overrated in that the people who hold on to it, like, yes, you can be like, objectively, flag, it it looks kind of sick, but it like, like, it doesn't... It doesn't beat so many other flags. I'm no. sorry. Okay? It doesn't. Yeah, my, no. <laughs> my underrated flag beats the shit out of this flag any day. Yeah, there's no amount of, like, design that's going to get you out of what it represents either. <laughs> like, no. no, exactly. And yeah. that's another part of it. It's like, you know what makes a flag look ugly? Uh, I don't know. Racism. You know Ugliness. what I mean? Like, fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, did, I say that knowing that Japan's also pretty racist. Uh, I was going to say Japan's maritime flag <laughs> has had some unfortunate connotations, yeah, 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 yeah. especially right, in you're certain right. regions. <laughs> but yeah, but all right, they're very cool looking. So what? I'm a hypocrite. Yeah. <laughs> uh, look, man, uh, Confederate flag, hang it up. Uh, as in, like a like, don't hang it up. <laughs> hang, get rid of it. God, Not fuck like that this. Thing. Yeah. No, no, exactly. <laughs> or that, or that. Yeah. And uh, right, I, I guess let's go to my <laughs> underrated flag. But yeah, here's yeah. the I thing: think the sooner the better. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's fun about my underrated flag is that I can't tell if that's it on your wall too. It it can't be. I just can't see it so well because like this my screen the way I'm have it set sure. up right now. The Brazilian flag, dude. Oh, that's Look not that, that one. The under okay. underrated Brazil. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Underrated flag, Brazilian. Okay. Look at how cool this thing is. 
look at all the stuff it's doing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. Look at it's... all hey, guess guess all these shapes. Out of time, man. <laughs> all these constellations. Yeah, I don't know what it says in the middle, but I'll take it. Like I it's just so sick. It's just <laughs> I don't know, man. If the, the Brazilian flag could have a motto, though, it would be "Look at all these shapes." <laughs> I think because <laughs> it's all right. We got a rectangle, then we got a diamond, yeah. but on that we got a circle. On that, uh -huh. figure out this thing. Yeah, stars. Those go. are shapes. Shape it out, baby. It says, "Order me progresso" in the middle, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, order and progress. order and progress. I think that makes sense. Yeah, order and progress. It's yeah. Portuguese. Yeah. It's got a rhombus, you know. Rhombus. Just, oh, okay, yeah, I guess it is. Yellow, not, the yellow not a diamond, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's what it says on the Wikipedia now that I looked it up. Fair enough. <laughs> and Wiki can't lie, so Hey. Yeah. I know I've learned you, the word rhombus, so it's probably that. It's out here. But um yeah, I don't know, man. It just looks like an eye looking at space. And that there's like a banner in the sky. I yeah. don't know. It's, yeah, it's just I cool can see shit. It. It's just I like cool it. shit, man. I really, really like this flag. And I think as far as flags go, doesn't get a lot of shine. But I see it. I see it. Yeah, that's true. It's definitely, it's never up in the top, you know, 10, 15. Right. All right. Awesome. So, yeah. So, Japan, Japan's Maritime and South Korea as for favorites. And then yeah. Brazil for underrated, Confederate for overrated. Got it. So what would there be like a top 10, like a poll of favorite flags? I mean, like various organizations do them and stuff. Um, more. I don't know if there's been ones for like a NAVA one for like national flags. NAVA is like the North American Vexillologic Association. Uh, mm. I don't think they've done one for national flags. They have done one for Canadian um provinces and territories of which quebec won got first really? yeah the, which i think like i the agree regular, with the blue one the yeah the one that's the uh, one behind the you? viewers can probably see oh, yeah, yeah. half of that's a great flag that yeah. is a great flag yeah i it, the province itself is a is a pain in my ass but the flag is great <laughs> um fair enough yeah yeah well yeah we let's go ahead and move into the main bulk of the show um mm -hmm. got some canadian flags to talk about and Let's see it i was gonna say first and foremost before we talk about any canadian flags uh -huh. any smaller canadian flags i think we ought to talk about the big one so the big, the big one the big one so i know i don't <laughs> even need to copy and paste this in here but i'll do it just for no, my but notes for ease. i know you know right. what it is but of mike if you could to a listener who can't see this yeah. Describe the Canadian flag to us. Well, the Canadian flag picture, if you will, three, like a, a white, a, like picture a white flag, fully white. Okay. And Got it. picture that you have two rectangles and you're like, these should be red. Slap them on the edges, right? You've got a white square in the middle. So your rectangles aren't big enough to make it like a, another rectangle. Your white square in the middle and it's flanked by these two red rectangles. And in the middle of that white square, a red maple leaf, crisp red maple leaf, hard edges, sharp corners. Damn. And it's standing on a, on its stem. Unlike yeah. any maple leaf I've seen in person. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can almost picture it. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> the, yeah, you touched on something really important that like a lot of people miss when they just kind of like think of the flag of Canada. Yeah. Which is the fact that yeah, it is a square in the middle because yes. it's twice as long as the rectangles on the sides. That's right. Which is called a Canadian pale. That like design for a flag is called a Canadian pale, which sounds like a oh. beer or something, but Yeah, yeah, Canadian pale <laughs> ale, baby. Yeah. That's what that is. The new flag of uh Mississippi has that too. It's got like red earthly you know kind of like dark like burgundy red and then blue right. in the middle right with like gold outlines but yeah but the middle is twice the sides of the two yeah but i guess yeah. like canada was probably the first one to do that or otherwise it wouldn't be called a canadian pale so i'd assume you know good on you canada yeah. i mean look uh it, it's it's very um 
like when you see it for the first time, you're like, wow, that is it's coming at you. That's what I thought, like looking at it when I was a kid, I was like, that maple leaf is coming for us, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah. which is totally. weird because like we're not a very violent country unless you consider our treatment of the indigenous people here. Right. <laughs> um, our home on native land. You know what I'm talking about? What's happening, everybody? Um, we uh, we done bad shit in yeah. this country. But, and um, we all know ACAB includes Mounties. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> does it ever? It, does it, it ever? I'm not joking. It really does. <laughs> it, it does it ever. <laughs> Shout out to my second cousin. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> Um, but other than all that, yeah, not a very yeah. violent country when you throw out. Other than that, yeah, <laughs> the violent parts. Um, that and hockey fights, you know. The, oh otherwise. yeah, <laughs> I always thought of that as like a way to get out, like the pent up. You know, if there was any pent up aggression, so. yeah, yeah, I think it's definitely part of it. Like it, it is like a, like even when you play video games of hockey video games and you have a fight, the. The, the momentum of yeah, like, the, the controls change up and they're like, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, it's, yeah. It's like, we we're won, we won something already. Yeah. So, um, right. I don't know. It's like not a very violent place, but it is very interesting that like the whole thing is very starkly like this is red. What do you think of what do you think? Red, you think blood. All right. OK. Blood on the snow. All right. Where's. Oh, boy. That's tough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so do you know what the uh, – so you always thought of it as like a kind of like um, – shoot, I just had the word and I lost it. But like a kind of like in-your-face color scheme or whatever or very yeah. like dynamic – I can't yeah, find yeah. the word. I was High contrast or – Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, the red and the white – so King George V made them Canada's official colors. This was pre – the flag Ooh. was adopted in 1965. Um, but – King George V made them Canada's official colors in 1921. The red is from St. George's Cross, like England, basically, their flag. Right. And the white right. is from, like, the French royal emblem. So not, like, the current French flag, but back when they had kings and they had just, like, a, a white flag with, like, a hundred yes, fleur de yes. lis on it. Yeah. The classic. So that's, yeah, that's where they come from. Because Canada has always been a little bit of England, a little bit of France. I mean, here's here's the thing. Much more England than France, but oh, the well. France part is really loud about being like, no, we deserve more than. Oh yeah, that <laughs> you're both colonies. It hey, tracks. take the take the L in one city. You fuck. Hey, look, I'm not gonna lie. I just have to deal <laughs> with like my my the the condo syndicate here is uh uh, uh what what's the word uh discriminated against me uh. for writing in English. You know, one of the two protected languages in the country. But somehow Quebec has one official language, which is French. Right. Yeah. However, uh, you know, but that said, I do speak French when I just don't choose to speak it. Uh, that's my choice. Get fucked. How about that? Uh, that said, uh, yeah, Quebec, man, what a place. What a place. Uh, yeah. It is weird that is it, it, it's, oh, it's English and French. And people think like everywhere you go in Canada is going to have some French. It's like, nah, man, they're mandated to teach French in early age classes, but everywhere else, everybody drops it so early on. Uh, nobody but Quebec and New Brunswick picks up the French and keeps it. New Brunswick, yeah. I was going to say, I know there's, like, some French, like, maritime, like... Yeah, it's New Brunswick. Even... New Brunswick's got the Acadian French, too, which is, like, a whole other mess. Like, uh, not mess, but a whole other <laughs> dialect. Yeah. Like, it's just wild, man. It sounds like a party is happening. I mean, even like, so I, I speak French, not probably as well as you, definitely not as well as you do, I should say, <laughs> but, um, I majored in, in college, you know, like I went, lived in France for, I think total span of like a year and a half to two years. Okay. Um, and still going up to Quebec, I was like, what? I'll tab yeah, out Mac. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Like, yeah, buddy. Is the you know accent, is the, the, they say it's more like French was spoken in, in Paris in like the old times though. Same thing they say about English in in America, like the American South versus uh, versus what English is now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they say the same thing about French in Quebec versus France now. Yeah. Um, I like to think so because, look, man, Quebecois French, as much as this province has given me, like you know, uh, uh, 
has been a real pain in my ass. It just sounds so much better than France French. Like, oh God, what I <sighs> I've worked with a bunch of French dudes who like you hear them talking, and you're like, buddy, shut up. But like, you get a good <laughs> a good Quebecois accent out of somebody, and they're talking, they're telling a story. You're like, I can listen to you all day. Like you, you've got so much going on. It's so I, fun. Yeah. I need to, I need to go back. I've been to Montreal. We went there for counterintuitively. We went to Montreal for spring break one year when I was in college and I already went to college in Boston. So everyone else is going to like Florida and like all yeah, these more places where like, you no North in February. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like Crazy. March or whenever, but there was like two feet of snow on the ground. It was, I love that shit though. It was a blast, especially as someone from Tennessee. You ski? Uh, no, I mean, I have, but we didn't, we didn't up there Yeah, pretty much just, I mean, we were like 19 or 20. So we just like bar hopped. We were like, Oh, we can just go to Canada. Yeah. Do this. Yeah. (laughs) Oh yeah. St. Catherine street and all that. Yeah. Back. Well, when, when was this probably would have been like 2008 probably. Yeah. Okay. So back then it was still strip clubs and churches one after another, the entire way. There was a lot of that. (laughs) <laughs> there yeah. was a lot of that yeah a lot of them are gone but it's it used to literally be montreal you'd have a strip of streets where it was like strip club church strip club church dollar store strip club strip club church church <laughs> dollar store and that's the exact configuration of one block downtown nice that's no longer that and now they're gone well a lot of the strip clubs are and, and the dollar store is now a burger king i was gonna say i feel bad for the strip clubs less so for the churches but whatever i think I think a lot of churches are gone too, and I'm fine with it, man. Like, there's, oh God. Anyway, I don't want to get too. No, no, it's all right. Yeah, well, let's, we'll get back to we we will talk about Montreal and its flag. Trust me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <clears throat> but let's get back to Canada's first. Um, just yes. a couple little more fun facts. The maple leaf that is, you know, was you thought was going to attack you as a child has been used <laughs> in Canada since the 18th century, 1700s. Um. Mm-hmm. I couldn't find a whole lot on that other than just some very old drawings and seals and things. But then Alexander Muir, M-U-I-R, composed the song The Maple Leaf Forever in 1867, which kind of became like an unofficial anthem for like the English speaking parts of the country anyway. Which I also thought was funny because like The Maple Leaf Forever and then in the U.S. there's Stars and Stripes Forever. So I wonder who... It seems like we ripped y'all off, which wouldn't uh, surprise You know what? Everybody's planning ahead. I think that's the the (laughs) important thing. You know this thing that we uh, just came up with? It's going to last forever. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's got high hopes. Do you know that song? I was going to ask. No, I don't. You know the Maple Leaf Forever? (laughs) Man, I should have looked up the lyrics. (laughs) No, thank you. I bet it's it's lame. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I bet it was meant for a marching band and a piccolo, and then... you know probably probably that kind they, of feel yeah they all do this similar <laughs> thing yeah um and that same maple leaf was first used as a national symbol in 1868 on the arms of both ontario and quebec independently but in the same year uh and then it was added to the canadian coat of arms in 1921 so like what is that like 50 some 70 years later i'm not good at math uh, and it had been in use on money since 1876. There was like a brief break when it wasn't, but okay, yeah. So it's like maple leaves are like everywhere in Canada. So it was kind of an yeah. obvious choice when they were picking their flag. It's very much like. so. Very much so. Yeah. Do you? I mean, like, there are more it... maple leaves than our national animal. Like, I, I don't think I've ever seen a beaver in my life. In, period. Really? You know? Oh yeah. Huh. I've seen. Yeah. I mean, at... We got beavers here in Tennessee that I've never seen, seen a beaver. Huh. Weird. Yeah, yeah. My dad's yeah. Uh, backyard has like a beaver dam in it, or used to. It flooded. And... Yeah, Brag. right. <laughs> gotta, by law, you have to send those to me. <laughs> now I own a beaver. <laughs> Shit, that I, is how the I, exchange I, works. Wait, no, it's not I NAFTA just, anymore. It's whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, uh, I keep my. I just chose to keep my beavers in Crossville. <laughs> Local reference for Tennessee, baby. Shout out Billy Wayne Davis. <laughs> yes. Billy Wayne, who I was going to mention earlier when you were talking about the show, he he asked about the flag show, and he was like, huh, you're a wonderful weirdo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, from you, I will take that. From most, I will take that. But, yeah, even more so. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, no, I was going to ask you. So like here in Tennessee, like we have the, I don't know if you know the Tennessee flag, you probably don't have a reason to, but um, I saw it. I looked it up earlier. Uh, okay. I was going to say, I have a tiny version of it right here, but it's got that like, it's three, very interesting. Three stars in the middle. And that tri star the rating on... of the state. All right. All right. <laughs> going to end this early. <laughs> no. I've never no, that's been, honestly I'm... honestly that's more than it deserves <laughs> so taken but uh but like that logo is on like everything like corporate branding like um you know any any government agency anything you see it freaking everywhere so i was wondering if the like you've traveled around canada a bit like is the maple yeah. leaf kind of like that is it like blazoned like a ton of places around just oh yeah like, this is canadian af like uh yeah, I mean look, McDonald's in Quebec has the maple leaf as the apostrophe. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Like corporate brands put the maple leaf in every yeah, yeah, yeah. Tim Hortons right. obviously. Yeah, no, that know, makes sense. It, it is the, the Canadian but there's yeah. On like I don't know, we'll we'll like I, I don't know. I can't think of any examples, but Absolutely. Like McDonald's is the biggest, gla- like the most glaring one, because I think that's like legally some way that they got around some sort of translation thing. <laughs> probably. Uh, oh, but, uh, yeah. No, you're probably right. Yeah. But it, but it's every Yeah, it is. It is everywhere. It's it's kind of just like you'll pick something up and be like, oh, OK, they, this is it's being marketed to us specifically. Right. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, any. uh any like Canadian imports here, which usually I'm not gonna lie, is usually just maple syrup that I get anyway. It's always got the big like the Canada flag like pretty prominently either on the bottle or like on one of those little dangly things off it. But yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. One other thing I wanted to ask is oh. so here in the U.S., like mm-hmm. tons of like private, not just like government buildings and things like that, but private families, private you know residences will hang and wave the flag like have it outside on a flagpole like i have at least through four neighbors that i can think of around like my neighborhood that have like legit like proper like flagpoles like stuck into you know dug into the ground lit up from the top and they fly the american flag most people it's from the porch or something is canada anything like that no with their flag Okay. No. Uh, mostly because like I'm living like I've only lived in two cities, and like even when I visit right. some of the, it's like it's you know it's bigger cities. We don't see the flag often. You see the flag at like borders or like you know government stuff, or some places will have a flag. Like in Quebec, I'll see more Quebec flags than Canadian flag. Oh, but, for sure, yeah. But that's just in certain neighborhoods, and even then, sometimes you'll see the French flag, and you'll be like, okay, this guy nobody likes. Um, <laughs> Is it yeah. Quebecois are like over the French? You know, they like they're like we're French, but we're not French. You know, yeah. Um, but the Canadian flag, I don't see it flown. Like the way, so look, it's there's no surprise. There's like this such a huge amount of like American culture that's like patriotism, and everybody's got a flag. And mm-hmm. if oh you hang it, you can't. Oh, it, if it touches the ground, you got to burn it because you disrespected it. And now you can't have a flag no more. And it comes with a fine or like, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. there's so many rules around and laws around the flag. I just think it's like the fact that you have neighbors just on your block for, <laughs> um, you know, I'm just like, why, why, what, what are you, what are you doing with that? I, why, why? Yeah, I don't know. Um, S- but no, we don't, we don't have that here. Uh, at least look, I'd have that. You know what? My girlfriend's been to Alberta. I haven't been yet. Maybe I could ask her if she's seen that, but that's the only place that I would re- expect some sort of civic pride <laughs> yeah <laughs> like uh enough to like post up a a flag you know right yeah, yeah. fair enough and and like speaking to something that you mentioned in there about like the laws about like if the flag touches the ground you got to burn it and all this weird shit yeah which burning it seems like such a weird it sounds worse than it sounds heretical. letting it touch the ground for a sec yeah yeah right 
But, hey, hey, while we were folding it, it slipped from my arthritic fingers. You know, I'm 89, fought for the country, and now my body's a wreck, but I'm still trying to honor the, the, the country I fought for. <laughs> Whoops, it slipped while I was folding it with my grandson, who also doesn't have amazing motor skills or dexterity, <laughs> and now it touched the floor. Now I have to burn a flag, and look, I'm going to blame my grandson for being a little bitch about it. Uh, and that's just, you know... Th- I didn't just fight for the country. I fought for my right to traumatize the younger generations too. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, so it, 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 hey, it is hey, just man. nuts to me that those are the hell yeah, put your hand on your heart, man. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you you got to do it. Uh, it. It's just, it is, it, it's just like, um, I don't know. The, the, the rules around it just make me feel so uncomfortable. Yeah. I don't understand why that's, we want that. That's what I was going to speak to is like when I, I was looking up, like if there were any such rules for the Canadian flag, and I found that there is no law dictating the proper use of the flag. Uh, and this sounds very, like, to my American ears, this sounds very Canadian. But it says, uh-huh. instead, there are guidelines and suggestions in a book called Flag Etiquette. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds way more English to me than Canadian. Okay, but, yeah. Uh, suggestions alone would make it Canadian. I think guidelines make guidelines and suggestions, English. Suggestions, but I don't want to <laughs> bother you or nothing, Canadian. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. So yeah, I thought that was that was interesting. You guys don't have to, because like I've no, looked up no. how to, I've looked up how to like um, just like flag disposal etiquette and all the yeah. stuff. Like any article you look up that's like t- that does say you yeah you need to burn the U.S. flag or whatever, mm-hmm. it all says do it privately and it says it in all caps and it's like yeah otherwise people are gonna think you're like a you know a terrorist yeah. or like yeah. whatever. It's like nothing. So I have to, to do this thing, but more than but I, yeah. hey, I have to. Hey, I'm I'm upholding my 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 <laughs> national duty to the flag by burning it as per the guidelines. But I don't have a private spot to do this in. And right. then somebody's like, "You're burning the flag. I gotta get you now." And you're yeah. Like, hey, what? Uh, I don't. It I seems have like such a, a love hate relationship with this country of yours. Mm. I love the states so much, but there's so much of it that I think needs to chill. A lot of us too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. At least half of you. <laughs> yeah. At least half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we'll we'll start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not going to happen right now, so we might as well segue to the next part, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's do some other Canadian flags. Um. Yeah. Ooh, well, wait. I'll... Do you want me to ask my my girlfriend's here now? Do you want me to ask her about the? Alberta yeah. You said thing? Alberta. Yeah, let me see what she knows. Sure. And Andrina, can I ask you a question? <laughs> okay, so I'm doing a podcast about flags. And uh, the host is asking if, because in America, a lot of people fly the American flag in front of their homes a lot. And I thought, well, we don't do that much in Canada, but the one place we might do it is Alberta. When you were in Edmonton or Calgary or wherever, did you see that happening a lot? Like on the West Coast, is it more common for people to fly their flag? Yeah, one or two houses. Right. I believe it too. Probably most in Alberta, but even then, just like one or two. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That makes Thanks, sense. Honey. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Isn't that wild? Yeah. I. You guys, you guys are the only people out there that I think love their flag so much, and so much so that you hold on to the old version in certain places. And uh, well, we're back to the overrated flag. But you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, we we are. I opened Most... my water bottle too aggressively. Uh, g- give me a sec. All good. <laughs> Let's get it. Okay. I'm back. Yeah. I was gonna move on to the. Uh, yeah. So as you mentioned, can kind of make a clumsy segue into this, but as you mentioned Uh, in Quebec, in the province, um, that flag can be flown. Like it's considered a national flag Yeah, and it can be flown alongside the maple leaf. Like I think on an even footing. Yes, yes, definitely it can. And it is, but it also is rarely next to it. If by the people who hang it up in their homes. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Rare, yeah that... Rarely do you see the fervor for for like Quebec nationalism alongside the Canadian pride. Yeah. Um, that would yeah, be a you weird, don't get that. A weird mix. <laughs> yeah. For sure. A lot of people who want to separate from Canada who have that stuff up. Or... Yeah. 
yep. people who are like, hey, I don't want to separate, but they have they they do raise good points. My language is under attack. And <laughs> you're like, your language is under attack. Just leave one city alone so we can invite, you know, some companies to have their economic headquarters <laughs> here. Save us, you morons. Right. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Quebec is wild. Like, the, just to keep harping on it for one more thing. I do remember it being uh-huh. the only place I've ever seen. Because in France, they have stop signs. They say stop. And yeah. Quebec, it's arrêt. Or yeah. Arrêt. Yeah. Yeah. So. It, yeah. It, it's arrêt. And, and that's where it is. It, it's the same shape, same everything. Uh, some places you'll get arrêt, stop. Uh, but the stop is under arrêt. And it's a uh, smaller font. Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> by by law, they think they think. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the, it's just so silly to me that they're like, it has to be smaller. It's like, why? It's like, cause we we this is our, <laughs> this is our province. No, if, okay. If Dad's making us make uh, translate for you, then it's gonna be smaller. It's like, but it it doesn't make sense. It looks pretty stupid. It's like. Uh, <laughs> It's a fucking province sometimes, man. Oh, anyway. I feel you. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. yeah it so, is such so, a cool flag, though. It is a so yeah, flag. <laughs> yeah, for the flag itself, let's go into that. Yeah, um, I know. You, you described the last one and did a great job. You want to go and describe this one for the listeners as well? Okay, so picture, if you will, a flag. Just a, get get yourself a flag that's a beautiful blue, just a gorgeous blue. And throw a white fleur de lis in the middle of it. Center that thing. Make it look nice. It's white. It's crisp. It's beautiful. Make one of those flags. You know what? It's so nice. Make three more. Okay, great. Now what you're going to do is get an even bigger <laughs> white flag and put each one of those in each corner. Ah, you didn't make them big enough to to connect in the middle. And so we have like this even distribution where there's like <laughs> a white line in between horizontal and vertical and you know what it works nicely and it looks dope the <laughs> Quebecois flag is a nice looking flag yeah and the way you tell it also a happy little accident <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it was you a know, production I, error that they turned into a happy accident i was wondering where you were going with that when you said put a fleur de lis in the middle and i was like is he doing i guess he's doing okay <laughs> <laughs> Got it. yeah i'm doing a, i'm doing like a zoom out copy uh copy paste situation yeah yeah you're doing what you do best <laughs> comedy <laughs> i should have known when hey i invited now. a comedian on <laughs> hey now Thank you very much. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean that's that's the exact notes. It's um, for those who maybe didn't follow that. It's like a it's, it's a mostly I don't I guess it's mostly blue. It seems maybe fifty fifty, but it's, it's like 50, a 50, imagine no, it's, it's kind of it's mostly white. I'd argue mostly white. Actually, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, um, but picture like picture it in layers, being like the background is blue, then like a white cross overlaid in the middle of that. And then in each corner that results from that, a white fleur de lis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's excellent, beautiful. I love this flag. Mm-hmm. I went up to so I get a flag from everywhere I travel to. Makes but sense. Incidentally, I don't have a Canadian flag, even though I've been there you because know? I got the Quebec flag that you can see here. Yeah, I should have gotten Which both. Are more but... readily available up here. Oh Quebec. yeah, I I that's I can't remember because like I said, two thousand eight <laughs> or so, and sure. just drinking tour of Montreal. Oh yeah, yeah I can't yeah, remember yeah. if I couldn't find a Canadian flag because it's a or real you possibility. Did, you lost it. <laughs> or <laughs> no, I know I didn't ever buy one. <laughs> or if I just like you know, was like, well, I'd rather buy one more beer or two more beers than oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's whatever that also the cost of that is. <laughs> It could be either of those. Totally really. bad. But um, yeah, do you know its French nickname? Oh, God. No, I don't think I do. It's what called the it? Fleur de Lise, which means exactly what you would think. I mean. Lily if, flowered. Uh, yeah, but not even like. That doesn't sound like anybody here uses that. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's like um, not many people call the American flag like old glory unless they're old or joking or something, you know. Uh, I don't know if it's similar to like if Fleur de Lise is like that, but I don't man, know. Man, old glory is such a fun name for something bad. Yeah, Dave <laughs> Ross came on and we renamed the American flag. Uh-huh, what's and, it called? <laughs> I think, yeah, his my favorite one was his, which was old flappy. <laughs> old flappy. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. 
That shit flaps. Simple, understated. I love it. It <laughs> tells you exactly what it does, what its function is. Oh, flappy. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, Quebec's flag was adopted in 1948, which you may notice uh-huh. is earlier than 1965, which is when Canada's was. <laughs> uh-huh. But as we've alluded to, or not even alluded to, straight up said many times, mm-hmm. like, they want to be first. They want to be different. They didn't want the yep. Canadian red ensign uh, that used to be, like, Canada's old kind of unofficial sort of pseudo official flag they didn't want yeah. that anywhere so they were like no let's no. get our own there's no red at all on this flag and it's very pointedly so they're right. just like right like even if they could justify away the red by being like the french flag also has red on it they were like no those those english bastards yeah <laughs> because what they did was they took the naval flag of france which um i'm assuming you don't know what the naval flag of the kingdom no, of france I don't. was so I'll drop that in the chat. It's this here. But it's mm-hmm. basically like in form, it's basically the same, like the blue with the white cross. It's just got like a some scepters and right, coat right. of arms in the middle. But yeah, so the, instead of taking France's flag um, at the time, I which like I said, one 19- of the scepters is a little hand, though. I, think I, did, I just funny. noticed that. Yeah, One of the scepters is like a little hand going, hey. Uh, I thought it was like maybe like a bum paddle or something. Uh-huh. Maybe that's just where my mind went. My... <laughs> My parents used to have like a thing that they would hit me with. (laughs) Yeah, hey, we got back there. (laughs) Improv 101, baby. (laughs) Uh, My parents used to have like when I was growing up, they had like a thing they would hit me, like abuse me with, I guess to put it plainly. That was just like, (laughs) it looks like a hand and it's giving me those vibes right now. So I'm going to minimize that. The last thing I've seen in the shape of a hand is like, you know, those hand chairs? Yes. From Arrested Development? (laughs) Uh, it was also in the office. Uh, Michael has one as at his apartment. In oh his, yeah, in the yeah, garage. You know, but you know, imagine hitting somebody with with that. <laughs> okay, I don't know why. I don't know why. That's why I went with it. It'd be nuts. Throw yeah. that hand through the window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just Un- leaning on the window. All right, that's enough. <laughs> no. Okay. Um. <laughs> just trying to get. Oh, what that. Just remember what I was going to say. I was going to say, so like how how Canada, we said, doesn't have any, um, they have suggestions for the flag. In Quebec, there is the act, the the English translation anyway, is the act respecting the flag and emblems of Quebec. And it states that in all cases, the flag of Quebec has precedence over any other flag or emblem. Um, however, under federal protocol, the Canadian flag takes precedence when both are flag. <laughs> but I guarantee right. not in They're practice. I heard about that. Oh, yeah. Not uh, in practice a lot of places, yeah. I bet. No, no, no. Not even a little bit. Oftentimes, yeah, no, no. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Quebec flag is, look, it, they, they don't give a shit. They're just like, the official language of Quebec, French. Only French. Official language of Canada, English and French. They don't like, and there's a new bill that like, just is continually. This place is like a a a python, just continually constricting on the English population, not realizing that 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 the English population of Montreal is a lot of what keeps this place afloat. A lot of places are like closing and moving, and and it's in in a large large part because it's just not sustainable to be like yeah yeah. Anyway, that makes sense. There was, do you know about Pasta Gate? Do you know about this thing? I don't think so. A restaurant downtown Montreal had the word pasta on their menu, in the French menu. Oh, and the, they had to change it to la langue française. <laughs> they did, but they were fined an exorbitant amount multiple times because the owner was like, it's pasta. It's like an Italian word. Right. It's, it's, it's not even it's, English. I mean, yeah. we use it, but yeah, origin-wise. Right. So they they were like, doesn't matter. And they kept finding and it was just like a whole thing. And uh, yeah. yeah, they are really yeah. they really love their fu- language. They're fighting a they fight keep... that Dude, I don't know don't... if anyone else knows about the amount of times <laughs> I've look. If I said if I told you growing up that the kind of people I get into arguments with over this, they'd be like, I speak French. I don't know why you can't just speak French. And I'm like, I am speaking French. I speak French. But you're also the one that came into my conversation with my friends who I speak English to, to tell me that this here we speak in, in French. Like, I don't I don't know what your problem is, but like I'm talking to you in French. It's like, well, at least you know how to speak French. I'm like, yeah, so leave us alone. Go fuck yourself. Right. 
And then, but then the thing is, they'll use words that are English in French. Yeah, they'll say they'll say something is fuck a, fuck is not a French word. No, they'll say, uh, you know, like oh God, now I can't. Although I'm conjugating I'm it in my head right now. <laughs> Vous well, that's nous faucon. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. They, but they, like they've got a lot of words that like I remember in high school, a friend of mine pointed out that like somebody was like they were like est-ce que look est-ce que c'est open open if it's open. <laughs> Is it open? What? <laughs> uh, and that same person was like, "Hey, you sit au Quebec, on parle français." You know, it's like, "All right, get out of here." Yeah, go home. Yeah, well, that's probably I'm, enough. I'm what? going long on my political takes here. No, uh, it's okay. So- <laughs> it's all good. That's the that's the Quebec flag in a nutshell. Not just you guys. Listeners, viewers, you got an inside kind of kind of track here on it too. <laughs> Not just me talking about it in a vacuum, but <clears throat> the kind of hey. people that that are a little too obsessed with it. It's good info. They love their flag. All right, yeah. Let's talk about a flag we don't see much at all, though. So, uh, yeah, I want to see if you have ever seen this flag, and actually. As the Canadian representative on this show, I want you to wow. fucking answer some questions. Sure. You have a bit to uh-huh. answer for for this flag. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. do you know this one? Um, No. I don't. But it has a blue... It is all blue. It looks like what is meant to be a rendering of a polar bear that looks like a penis. <laughs> uh and then there's half a fleur de lis that's like cut in half with a snowflake that's elevated a little higher than it. It just looks like a really bad flag. It's not a good flag. <laughs> it is a really I've never bad seen flag. this in my life. I want to say that this is like, this is like something New Brunswick did because I want to deflect blame, but it's probably like BCB <laughs> Timmy Scamang being like, we should have a flag too. It's I don't know what that was, but it's the. Franco Tenois from TNO, uh, Northwest. Is that Northwest oh. Territory? Yeah, Territory Northwest. Okay, interesting. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Originating from the acronym TNO. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's the Franco Tenois flag. And uh, I guess that's why there's like the weirdly cropped fleur de lis. Like it goes too far up, doesn't it? It seems it like a Christmas ornament. Up, and it's down. Like it doesn't line up with the half of the snowflake. Either. Yeah. But obviously, the thing that most people <laughs> focused in on when this flag was unveiled was polar bear penis. The polar bear whose head definitely Looks like, like, yeah, that had to have been what they were going for. I mean, put a nose on it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, give it. Give, sh- no, that makes it worse, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Give it, give it a smile. Like, I don't. How do you not see the dick? You know what I mean? I like, don't know. This is one of those. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't know. I can't. I can't. I don't know. There are whole like t- uh, there used to be like a whole Tumblr about like uh like how do you not see the dick basically? I don't remember what it was called, but right, something right, right. like that. It's like it's so obvious to anyone else. Right. But yeah, um listener viewers will see it on the screen now. Listeners, go look up the it's Franco spelled like you'd think and then T E N O I S flag. And uh, it'll be in the show notes too. But yeah, look up this monstrosity for yourself because it's something else. It, it was the first. I mean, Mike didn't even bat an eye. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, so I mean, it's the polar bear whose head looks like a dick, and then yeah, standing on That's a hill. The one. Anyway, That's the one. I just wanted you to answer <laughs> for for the crimes of that community. But you know what? I can't put that all on you. It's just not even Wikipedia is mentioned mentions the, the penis shape. I know, and Wikipedia always mentions the penis shape. Yeah, so. they try they try to do that as much as possible. Mm-hmm. They work it in. Yeah. Anyway, mm, wording. Uh anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we are going to uh wrap up here with a quiz on the flag of <laughs> There it goes. I'm gonna, guess. I'm gonna guess. Montreal. I knew it. All right. Oh, but before we get to that, I do have yeah. some quiz intro music, so I got to play oh, that. Play Otherwise, it. it just doesn't feel right. 
We've got questions and answers, and if you know the answers, go ahead and say the answers, and I will be content. I will be content. Quiz time. Quiz time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yep. Did not update that from last week. <laughs> last week's nice. was the first episode that had that. It's if you nice. haven't listened, it's a playoff of the our show's theme song, but um, oh. but much better. Anyway, so <laughs> round one. Are you ready? Oh yeah. All right. Cool. I got some quiz music I can get going too. You okay. Me this flag, or am I supposed to not look at it? Wait. What? Do you want to send me the flag, or do I not look at the flag? Oh, uh, no. Don't don't look at this. Okay. Are you looking at it? You're looking at it. Don't look at it. I had it pulled up before the show started. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Round one. Yes. Question one. What main yes. two colors are used on the flag of Montreal? Red and white. Yeah. All yeah, right. That's yeah. the end of round one. Oh. Now we start round two, and you know what that means. Points are doubled. The points are doubled in this <laughs> round. Call Dave Ross. <laughs> the points are doubled. What? So, yeah, I know. If you can believe it, oh I don't even want to tell you what happens in round three. So, all no, right, no, I can't. I can't. No. All right. So, round two, question one. Other than the cross, how many symbols are in the Montreal flag? Uh, other than the cross, four? No. 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 There's four sections, but they updated it. So it's five. They updated it. it in like... Oh God. We've got... Oops. <laughs> We've got... <laughs> All right. Happy they accidents updated it like 10 years ago or something. Like so, something feels crazy far back, but I they remember d- they added something. They did update it. Yeah. It's got five okay. elements. Um, okay. So nice. of those elements, there's a... Uh, this part isn't a question. <laughs> There's a okay. fleur de lis, a rose, a shamrock, a thistle, and a white pine. Can you tell me what nationality the fleur de lis represents? Quebecois, baby. It's French. Bing. I'm just going to yeah. do bing because that sounds yeah, 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 yeah. All right. And the rose? The rose has to... It's red, so I'm going to go the England? English? Brits? Ding. Yep. Nice. That is the red rose of Lancaster. What yeah. about the shamrock? Irish, baby. It's <laughs> yeah. got to be... No, it's got a hell- the Irish population here is loud. Uh, we we know they're here. <laughs> good, good. What There's about an Irish parade every year? Anyway. Oh, nice in Montreal. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. quiz time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thistle. I don't know that one. I don't know. The Haitian? thistle. Is it the? No, I don't know the. What? I don't know. You got French, English, and Irish. The thistle is Scottish. Oh, weird. Okay, I wouldn't yep. even. We don't even really have. Okay, Scotland. Yeah, the thistle's oh. like a, it's like a Scottish national symbol. Sure, but I just don't get why. Like, <laughs> all all right, it's, it's cool. Hey, I hey, like Scotland. I like. know why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and finally, the white pine in the middle. That I know is the First Nations. It's uh, the indigenous folks. I believe. I believe it's, uh, Iroquois. Yeah. Damn, I don't even have it pulled up, but I remember reading that earlier. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, ding, ding, ding. The Love main, the main population out here, at least. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. What symbol was on the flag? So it used to ha- still have the rose, shamrock, and thistle, but instead uh-huh. of the fleur de lis, it had a different symbol. What was that symbol? And I'll give How you a far- hint if you want. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I want to. I have a question. No hints, but a question. Okay. How far back are we talking? Uh, this was 1939. It was it was replaced by the fleur de lis in 1939. Oh God, this has to be Canadian as fuck. Then, is it a maple leaf? It's it's a maple leaf. It's not a maple leaf. Do you want a hint? Yes. It it has come up in this episode as a Canadian thing. Um, a small version of the con- Confederate flag. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Brazilian flag. Oh, uh, maple leaf isn't it? But it's oh, beaver. Is it a beaver? It is a beaver. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> yeah, there used to be a little, a whole ass, not just a face, a whole beaver down there. 
I'll show you after. It's it's really good. Was it posed uh, in any fun way, or is it like? I think he's just walking. He's just on his way somewhere. All right. Yeah. No. No. He's on a log. He is on a log chewing on a leaf okay. or something. I'll I show you in a minute. It. Okay. Um, question eight. What is thirteen times thirteen? Uh, one thirty nine. One sixty nine. Ah, uh, sick. Yeah. Um, question nine. What year was the most recent flag adopted? Like you said, they updated Montreal's. I got options. If okay. you want them. Okay. Yeah, I do. I would love that. It was either 2015, 2017, or in 2020. 2015 sounds right. I feel like it was far back. Er, 2017. Oh, okay. But yeah, you, you were right that it wasn't three years ago. Okay. Yep. And, I was still uh, living here when that happened, and I guess it must have happened earlier in the year, because I moved to Toronto in 2017. I don't know. I just guessed. Oops, right. I didn't realize the music would just stop like that. But if you couldn't tell from the music stopping, that is the end of the quiz. All right. So, How'd Mike, <laughs> let's see. Round one, you nailed that round, and then round two was yeah. a little rougher. No, round Twice two, you doubled. did great. You missed, like, what, one, two? I'm going to give I it missed. an A minus. Hell yeah, dude. It stands for arbitrary minus. <laughs> arbitrary minus. Yes. Okay. You, did, you did great. <laughs> the Scottish thistle thing is what what I really did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one was. Yeah, if you don't know that going in. Because yeah. you, you think English and Irish. Okay, we're done with those islands. What else? But you would be wrong. Anyway, here's. I just, it, it makes sense that Shamrock is Irish. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know, I sent you the one with the the old one with the beaver in the chat. Oh, and the designs of the the rose thistle and shamrocks are different too. Yeah, they? and they they change the they look uh, very cartoony from a saltier X to a like just a cross up and down. Yeah, but yeah. Anyway, Mike, that is all of our time for today. Alrighty. Unfortunately, Thanks I feel like I could talk man. to you about these Canadian flags forever, but. Happy to. <laughs> You'll have to come back at some point. Sure. I'm done. Right on. Let's figure that out. <laughs> right on. <laughs> yeah, dude. All right. So, Mike, go ahead and tell the listeners and viewers where they can find you, follow you, share your work, all that good stuff. I am Mike Carroza, baby. Uh, <laughs> you can find me. Find me at Mike Carroza, M-I-K-E-C-A-R-R-O-Z-Z-A. -Z -Z I have a link tree, so that's easy. If you just caught the spelling, you'll put that in link tree and you'll have all my stuff. At Mike Carroza on Twitter, at Mike Carroza on Instagram. I have an album out called Cherubic. It was released in 2020. Um, you can listen to that. Uh, I've also got a couple tracks on uh, JFL Originals, which is Just for Laughs uh, record label. Um I have a podcast called We Didn't Get a Rose about The Bachelor. I host that with Chris Mejia, Sweet Sweet Angel from Seattle. <laughs> I just got back from Sketchfest, so I'm not plugging that. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, let's see. I run a monthly show in Montreal at Rustic on Sherbrooke in the NDG area. Uh, I run it with Walter Ling, uh, part of Perfect Bite Productions. Uh, you can check that out. I believe the next one is March 23rd. Uh, so you can get your tickets for that lineup still hasn't been booked because uh, we're very loose, baby. Nice. Uh, as of recording this, it's it's still February, so we haven't booked it. Um, <laughs> we just had the last one on th like th this Thursday, and it's a monthly one, so oh, right on, yeah. it just comes a little quicker in February. Yep. And then I don't know. I really like my old podcast, Bummer Boys. It's spelled X Bummer X Boys X, like a dumb <laughs> hardcore band. Yeah, those that that the archive for that is still up there. You can listen to that. It's where my co-host and I picked sad songs that made us sad that week, and we had a bunch of fun guests and talk shit about stuff. And uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know, fun. man. Uh, that that that's about it. You can just follow me. I oh god, I write about Magic the Gathering at uh, on CommandersHerald dot com and TheBagOfLoot dot com and uh you can you can check that out there and if you need magic cards i'm selling a lot of them so <laughs> let's play and let's trade right on yeah <laughs> there's definitely a lot of overlap with our audience and like magic D, &D all that stuff too so. that does not surprise me right on <laughs> yeah. yeah just yeah. and we all hate the coin guys you know 
Dude, <laughs> I won't even play a coin flipping deck. You know what I'm talking about? No, no. These guys are dead to me. Although Absolutely. there are flags in Magic. Oh my god. <laughs> there are flags should, everywhere. You know what? I should I should get you in touch with dudes who play Warhammer 40k and Magic and like love the flags in that too. Let me see if my there's a guy that writes for Commanders Herald who I think might be interested in, in that. Yeah, I'm down with that. Hit Tight. uh yeah, we'll talk after the show. But sure. for the listeners, if you've made it this far, you probably know all of our details, but anywhere there are at signs, we are at flagged the number four content except right. for YouTube where it is all spelled out flagged for content and go check out the YouTube. That's the only place to see me and Mike having this awesome episode, uh, having this episode. You can tell it's the end of it. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. We're having the episode. <laughs> we just like, like it's our baby, I guess <laughs> in a way. Um, but yeah, go check out the YouTube. Um, I'm doing some <laughs> cool shit on TikTok with like flag changes and stuff. Tight. Um, yeah. And all that's flagged for content. And if you want, we have a link tree and it's exactly what you would think. So go check us out there. And then, all right. And uh, that brief pause that the viewers saw there was me looking everywhere for my notes on how to end the show. Couldn't find them. So Mike, can you help me end this thing, man? Absolutely. Folks, you've been listening to Flag for Content. Come on back and remember to burn your flags privately. <laughs> That's a hey, that's the best tip we had all episode <laughs> this episode that we had together. <laughs> Thanks for listening everybody and we'll see you in a week. Take care. <laughs> Dude. That was a good one. You just thought of that halfway, I assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flagged for content is a Flags for Good podcast. Go to flagsforgood.com for more info.